Hey, hey, you were live to the people, Leon Benson. We were not expecting this, but thank you for calling. <laughs> hey, hey, it ain't a problem, bro. Uh, can you guys hear him? Yes. Hey, your sister has her camera off. Can we see your beautiful face? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, wait, let uh, me get in the light. All right. <laughs> Look, hey. I'm, in the, I'm in the dark. Oh, oh. All right. Take your time. Sorry. I didn't mean to blow up your spot. <laughs> Leon, uh, tell the people what it does. Oh, man. Hey, you know, first and foremost, hey, love to all of y'all out there. You know, I like to show solidarity to the people that serve in Easter and all faiths that's out there. Appreciate y'all, you know, coming we got going on, you know, and I hope it really be special to you, you know, to you all that we play with some transition for that delivered it for you. Me. Can you hear me? Uh -huh. uh, all right. We appreciate you. It's such an honor to have you tonight. We've been working together for seven years now. And um, this is really the first big public facing thing that you've done as a musician with Die Jim Crow. It is such a long time in the making. Um, I couldn't be more honored, Mr. Leon Benson. Oh man, hey. But you know what? You know, you all man had trust and faith in me. For sure, for sure. Well, you should try calling me back at the end of the show, like around 9.30. And uh, before we let you go, though, I just want you to know we got Queen Sis here, Valerie's here, we got Kobe here, and um, I just got an RSVP from your brother, Rod. So it's definitely about to go down. <laughs> Truth never dies. All right. Catch you later. All right. Leon Benson himself, L. Bentley 448. So we're going to get right to it. Um, I'm Fury Young. I started talking to Leon Benson in 2014, and uh, we just instantly hit it off. I remember the first time he called me, he started talking about uh, Albert Camus and Jean-Paul Sartre, the uh, famous existentialist French philosophers. And I was just like, who is this guy? <laughs> uh, I've definitely never had a conversation with someone in prison um, about French existentialists. And that was just like, whoa, this dude was reading the same weird crap in high school. Like when I was in high school and he was in prison, we were reading the same books, you know? So we kind of hit it off like on this intellect intellectual level first. And then from there, we've just been, we've been tight ever since. And I've gotten to know his beautiful family. Uh, it's an honor to have Valerie Buford here. Hey, Val. Also gotten to know Kobe, his daughter. Hey, Kobe. Hey, Fury. So I am also honored to share the hosting space with Maxwell Melvins. What's going on? Thank you, you're on mute. Yeah, sorry about that, but hey, Fury, yeah, I was on mute. <laughs> Can you hear me now? Oh yeah, loud and clear. All right. How, how's everybody doing this evening? Welcome doing, to see you. How doing, you doing great. I All see, right, cool. Hey, I see you got a guitar and a Lifers Group poster back there. Absolutely, for sure. I have to have that up there. Limited <laughs> edition. 
<laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. So, you know, this evening I see you had him on and uh, it's a beautiful thing. I'm, I'm glad to be here this evening. I was having a little technical difficulties as always, but I got through, that's what's most important. So, you know, we just here tonight, we're ready to do this. We got some spectacular people that's coming on tonight. Uh, this is rather uh, more intimate for my stuff in our Die Jim Crow because our brothers are, most of them are behind the wall. And so it's, it's more, you know, intimate for us. Not saying that other ones aren't, but this is. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's a chance for them to, to tell their story, share their story with their own voices and in their own words. You will hear them tonight on DJC. That is a beautiful way to kick it off with our first intro video. Here That's we go. And we were having a, some technical difficulties before the show, so Ted, don't be shy to hit me up if uh, you hear anything we're, funky. We're, are we on Facebook? Are we on Facebook? No, nah, this is uh, this is exclusive. No? Oh, all right, all right. Caterpillars turn to butterflies. But butterflies turn into dragons. Transition. It's the signs of the times. I knew the walls would crumble, man. I patiently waited. Put on a mask, a humble man. I staggered and I stumbled, but refused to fumble. Man, I'm hard of a lime man, the king of the jungle. 18 years, like 18 in the clip. The world is yours, is what it said on the blip. From years of persecution, my halo and bent. Now I'm back from hell, like I rose from a crib. I was a rose in the crib full of the illness and fence. Hard times passed, but not a heart made of flint. Surrounded by foes, but not once did I flinch. I checkmate these hoes, even though I lost my bitch. Lost my cars and clothes, but my heart more rich. Stuck to the G code, so not once did I snitch. I don't drop dimes, but if you thorough, I assist. Now I got more plugs. In all prison got bricks It's a transition, baby <laughs> What you thought it was over with? Man, we just started, man From niggas to guys From gangsters to guys From thugs to being immortals This is what we on It's a transition Are you ready for it? It's coming for you Sneak up on you like a thief in the night But we here You here? We here? Have no fear I'm back. Hey, the Leon Vince in the world once knew was murdered in 1999. Now I'm resurrected, Lee Bentley 448. And one nine nine nine. They thought they six 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 to one. Signs and symbols for the conscious mind. But we back to reveal truth to everybody. To you, to me, everybody. Hey, today you rediscover me. I heard your prayers, but you heard mine. Hey, you called me back to the people, and we got to do what we got to do. We got to eliminate this falsehood out there. Resurrect the truth on all seven continents, everywhere in your heart, your mind, your spirit. Let's get it. Son of man, truth never dies, only rediscover. Leon Benson, here we go. Turn it over to you, Mr. Melvins. All right. So one of our first guests tonight that we have tonight is, uh, hold on here. Bear with me, y'all. Sorry about that. Uh, you know, as I said, I was having technical. Uh, Jacqueline Cantor. 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 Cantor is a journalist and editor She's a journalist and editor based in New Orleans. Her past work has in part explored the intersection of prison and music makers, including a profile of Die Jim Crow records. Her work can be found in such publications as Washington Post, The Ringer, New York Times Mag, Topic, and Jezebel. In 1999, a 29-year-old black man 
Wait, no, no, stop oh, there. No, right. That was I'm it. Sorry. All right, go ahead. Sorry, sorry. I'm sorry. sending yeah. you some really nice glasses. They're in the mail. All right, no, sorry. All right, thank you. All right, but go ahead. I'm cool. All right. So that's it. We're going to bring her on for? Yes, sir. Jacqueline right. Cancer. Hey, can you hear me? Hello, how you doing? Hi, um, I'm Jacqueline Cantor, um, as he said. I'm a Sorry journalist. Sorry for the uh, mispronunciation uh, of your name if I uh, announced it wrong. Sorry about that, Jacqueline. That's okay, it's a tough one. Um, I'm a journalist who first began reporting on Die Jim Crow in the spring of 2019 when I interviewed Fury for an article about music in prison. I've since talked to B.L. Sherrell, another artist incarcerated in South Carolina, and this October, I was able to talk with Leon Benson. Uh, we chatted for about an hour about his case, his incarceration, the ability of music to express his ideas and feelings, and the mission of Die Jim Crow. Since then, I've been working on a story about the label, but today I'm just going to share some of the quotes and the notes from that conversation with Leon. Um, Leon Benson's first experience with art was as a preschooler at Pied Piper School in Flint, Michigan in 1980. Two teachers guided him into sculpting and from the age of five and throughout the rest of my life, I felt I was an artist, he says. By the mid nineties, Benson had moved to Minneapolis and his most frequent form of art was rapping. By the summer of 1998, he had about 10 mixtapes to his name and a reputation in his neighborhood as Detroit. Benson, then 22, moved to Indiana three years earlier and dealt drugs in the neighborhood, he says, hoping to earn enough to move out of the area and onto a different profession, perhaps a career in music. On Friday, August 7th, he says he spent the day with a friend, drinking beer, walking, playing basketball, and visiting an apartment complex called the Priscilla's. In court, his friend would later recall that they had spent much of that day rapping. At 3.45 a.m. that evening, a 25-year-old white male was shot and killed while sitting in a pickup truck in front of the Damien Center, about 400 feet from the Priscilla's. The first person to call the police was a newspaper delivery woman who was filling a vending box about 150 feet away when the crime occurred. Six days later, Benson was arrested for an outstanding warrant related to a misdemeanor drug violation. He was questioned about the shooting and denied involvement. But when given an array of suspect photos, the newspaper delivery woman selected Benson's mugshot. In the next 10 days, two other sources came forward to identify a different man who had matched the initial witness description of a five foot eight black male as the shooter. But one woman's word had already set Benson's fate in motion. The newspaper delivery woman was the state's key eyewitness and no DNA evidence was presented. Now 44, Benson looks back on how his understanding of his place in the world cleaved in two that night. The racial injustices that defined the generations before him had felt distant in his youth until he realized how quickly his word was void when matched up against that of a white witness. The history is this, Emmett Till, Benson told me when we talked in October. The history is Black Wall Street in Tulsa, Oklahoma. The history is lynching. And what's behind that history is a pattern, a pattern that if a white person said you did something, you did it. As a young person, I listened to my music and my hip hop and I was off in the street life, he says. But I never really empathized with the racial history. I thought the gig was up. But what I've seen with that witness identification is it's a very vulnerable feeling for somebody to have that power over you. Benson was sentenced to 60 years in prison. Of the 22 years Benson has served, he said that around 10 were spent in solitary confinement after prison guards said he incited a riot. While isolated, he read and he wrote. He penned letters to innocence projects, law schools, and anyone who would listen, declaring that he was not the shooter and had not been at the scene. One of his most prolific mail days included 50 outgoing letters. He composed a 13 page essay on Indiana's epidemic of misidentification and another essay highlighting prisoners who proclaim their innocence but do not have the DNA testing to help prove it, citing 16 separate academic and legal sources. So to picture it, I'm saying, hey y'all, I'm innocent. I wrote it on a letter and I sent it out, Benson said. So then, okay, I got more ambitious. So I wrote 1000 letters. Hey, I'm innocent, but I didn't get the response I wanted. I was like, Wait, man, why aren't people helping? So then I'm gonna go a step further. Now I'm gonna get poetic. I'm gonna use language that compels you. Oh, I'm using the language better, so now I get more responses. But then in time with social media, with video, so now the whole literary aspect of writing it down on paper and getting it out, it's not done away with, 
but the world we live in, it's become the third option. He still felt his letters weren't reaching the right people. He wasn't being heard and he realized his method of communication was now outdated, especially given the advancement of the internet. So he began uploading spoken word videos in 2012. I felt like what I need is for you to hear my voice, he says. I want you to hear it. What you hear right now is what I know at the bottom of my heart, he says of his music. You can hear the pain in my voice. When you hear me, it's conviction. I can't explain it, I just have to live it. And when you see me, you will see it. And when I'm in the room with you, you're going to feel it. The ancient people knew that music was a vehicle to express deeply rooted ideas, whether you're just expressing them in little, literal words or meaningful or symbolically or with emotion, Benson says. There are some things we can't even explain. Do you think I can really explain to you how I feel, how I really feel being wrongfully imprisoned? I can't really tell you that, but I can make you feel me. If I'm making you feel me, you know, now we can get to doing. In 2014, a pen pal connected him with Fury Young. They began communicating via email and prison phone, and Benson began to veer from spoken word and poetry and back, back into rapping. His first single in almost 20 years, Don't Think About It Too Much, was recently released as the fifth artist dispatch from Die Jim Crow. The song is a four minute reflection on Benson's time in the carceral system, sprinkled with biblical and historical references to Yisraelites, Marcus Garvey, Birth of a Nation, and Colin Kaepernick. The release page begins with a paraphrased quote from George L. Jackson, too much patience turns to cowardice. Benson's single will be followed by two mixtapes, the first to be released around the anniversary of his sentencing. Fury Young is creating a soundtrack to a movement, to a generation, Benson says. So now we get to fill it. So now people who are not typically affected by this type of repression, suppression, and oppression, people outside, they are feeling it, which you can see now, and that's what's so beautiful. And for Benson, making this music is another way to raise awareness about his case and a chance for his voice to travel beyond central Indiana. He continues to maintain his innocence. He has appealed to projects that investigate potentially wrongful convictions, but most of these projects rely on DNA evidence and are reluctant to pursue cases without it. So because there's no DNA used to prosecute Benson, there is no DNA that can be used to exonerate him. When we talked in October, I asked Benson what he hoped would come of the release of Don't Think About It Too Much and just his role in Die Jim Crow in general. And his immediate response was certain, but it had nothing to do with his decades long quest for exoneration, but instead the potential for enlightenment for an anonymous listener. The best possible scenario is for people to look at themselves and to look at history, he says. I want you to introspect and I want you to outrospect. I'm giving a lot of history in there. And what I hope is that you'll start to do things that are more impactful toward a better world. So the listener could be a kid in a dorm room, was the example that Benson gave to me, who's picking up on these nuggets that he's leaving in the lyrics that he's hoping will spur his listeners to action and introspection. I hope that this kid, this leader is like, you know what, man, I see what E.L. Bentley 448 is saying and what he's been through, Benson says. And I hope he ends up saying, I'm gonna make sure that we don't have no more Leon Bensons like that. I'm gonna make sure that Kaepernick doesn't have to kneel no more. I'm gonna make sure that people don't feel impressed. So, well, that's my initial thought. And that's the least that I wanna get out of it. And that's it. Wow, that was a really amazing way to kick this off. Thank you, Jacqueline. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much, Jacqueline. Amazing, thank you. All right. So we about to uh, move on, move along here. Uh, in uh, 1999, a 23-year-old black man in Indianapolis, by way of Flint, Michigan, Leon Benton, Benton, was sentenced to 60 years for murder. Benton, who has a young son, daughter, maintains his absolute innocence. Maintains his absolute innocence. Hold on, excuse me, I'm just having, te I'm sorry, sir. I'm having uh, technical difficulties with this screen, man. Just not, oh, oh my God, I'll get it right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Benson has a young son, daughter, maintains his absolute innocence of the crime since the day he was accused. 
at Die Jim Crow Records, we believe in Leon Benson, innocent, through his rap, through his rap, after Ego, L. Bentley, 448 Leon Benson music brings a righteous, fiery energy that embodies the power, grace, and struggle of the wrongly, wrongfully convicted prisoner. One of the first artists DJC began corresponding with back in 2014. We will stop at nothing to find the truth for Leon Benson, champion his music, and fight for his emancipation. In August 2021, DJC, DJC Records will be releasing L. Bentley's 448 debut project, Innocent Born Guilty. Thank y'all. Are we ready? And without further ado, here is the first virtual offering from L. Bentley. L. Hi, everybody. I just want to give everybody a shout out. I want to thank everybody for joining in, supporting the Die Jim Crow Records, and also supporting Lee Bentley, a.k.a. Leah Benson, as some people know and people who don't know leon has been incarcerated since 1998 and it's been a struggle he's falsely in prison and he's innocent and i just want to thank everybody for coming in and thank you for the support and to continue on and if you don't know nothing about leon and this is your first time you know chiming in on anything that leon has going on you can visit his site at www freelyonbenson.org. Thank you for your support. Leon Benson, Leon. LB, Leon. 448. Leon. Truth never dies, huh? Leon. Hey, well, let me ask you something, brother. Why everybody in prison Leon. say they innocent? Leon. Let me guess. Leon. You innocent too, huh? <laughs> For the shooting, murder, a case of shame. Told y'all I was innocent. To read and judge the evidence, they judged me on my blemishes. Past life, who I was. High school, I didn't finish it. In the war on drugs, building called Vietnam. I was getting it. And drug dealing was my revolution. So I was an innocent. Bombarded by the social myths of me. Through media images, the wet side of Flint. Where I'm from and where I swim is then. So it should be no surprise for what I started dealing in. I'm making no excuses. I'm just pointing out your ignorance. Especially with your presumptions of guilty to proven innocent. The only thing I murdered the night in question was the oxygen from reefer smoke. Me and Tim dog on off the intoxicants. While sitting in the hallway, sets up a cell and work to the building occupants. Heard distant shots, my man, while dreaming of making it big and never seen the block again. How did I get this murder rap when I was rapping 20 bands? I was rapping 20 bands. I told y'all I was innocent. Nobody believed in it. Got no help, no love and affections when I really needed. Scream my declarations every day, no one was listening. Stabbed by the spirit of destiny, but nobody was feeling it. From day one without me flinching, I maintain my innocence. I'm innocent, innocent. I swear to God, I'm innocent. From day one without me flinching, I maintain my innocence. I'm innocent, innocent. I swear to God, I'm innocent. Nobody gets innocent. I'm guilty, y'all, of plenty things. Accumulate the work I sow, it adds up to plenty things. I'm guilty, you're bringing the world a whole lot of drama. In pain, wiping now you wanna be breaking the hearts of many days. Man, I still see all they faces, but I don't know half they name. Guilty, you saying I never do it, but one day I snorted cane. Back in the days on Devil's Night, I was the one who lit the flame. Doing a lot of dumb shit before this murder, I'm not to blame. FYI, my OG Flint said before's in Detroit, YBI. So change from collection place. Told my mama plenty lies. I'm guilty, you having swag, stuff from bands in the back. Have a contempt for a lot my missus. Trollers in you. Rats. Facts are facts and racks are racks, so ain't no need of getting mad If you ever say you never done nothing wrong in your life to me, it's sad Yahweh is my witness, I swear I didn't commit it So I don't deserve to spend a second in a prison I told y'all I was innocent, but nobody believed in it Got no help, no love and affection when I really needed it I've been trapped like a tadpole within a teardrop of a cyclops Whose eye project my bite out of how my heart has become dry rot as a result of sleeping on a bedrock. 
of mass incarceration, which are the ancestries injustices that are beyond historical precedent and beyond the minds of pedestrians who are shackled to a system that's molesting them, yet subconsciously they profess the best of it when there is no way to embrace only a portion without taking the rest of it. Such monstrosities has been tweaked to a velocity that subdues the curiosity of what levels of Saudi pain are condensed within the teardrop of a cyclops climbing the blues. Blues that are more vast in the skies of the deepest hues and deeper than the bruise of red, white, and blue on the faces of America. Mass hysteria is really a ploy to mask its interior of its far senses of being exceptional and superior as she cries and sees her deepest blues in the mirror. But Lady Liberty, please, the blues you cry makes me bleed. Your blues is the police that causes me to plead. Don't shoot, I'm not resisting. It's only my cell phone. I can't breathe. So please don't kill me in a traffic stop that's supposed to be routine, but oftentimes leaves me hanging in a jail cell or lying dead in the street. Dread and Scots, you still consider our black bodies a thing. So to you, America, I am a cyclops that deserve a death sentence in the LWAP without me doing a thing but refusing to be beat black and blue. Because your biggest fear is that all the hate you rage against me will one day finally come back to you. And that's what will become of the tadpole trapped in a teardrop of the cyclops crying the blues. Amazing, amazing. Thank you. Thank you very much for that uh, presentation, brother. Yeah, thank you. Yes. So, all right, Fury. So, uh, let's let it rip, friend. Let's let it rip, baby. Casimo. Uh, let's let it rip. You waiting for me, Fury? Yeah, to let it rip with Casimo Boney. Yeah. 
uh, Casino Boney is a trumpet player, composer, and educator. He was born and raised in the countryside near Florence, Italy, and has spent much time practicing professionally in New York. After all in love with the sounds of great masters like Miles Davis, Ahmet Coleman, and Wayne Shorter, he moved. Uh, coming down. Wow, what is this? It just y'all gotta excuse me, man. My this computer, I gotta get another computer, man. Sorry, I think I, I got it here. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Fred. Yeah, I gotta get another one for my computer. Fury is, is is fading out, man. Yeah, it happens. It, it, this is very embarrassing, though. But it's very embarrassing. I'm not going in front. And spent much of his time practicing professionally in New York. After falling in love with sounds of great masters like Miles Davis. Wow. It, yeah, when I hit that Miles Davis, Ahmet Coleman, and Wayne Shorter, he moved to Boston, MA, to study at Berkeley College Music. Casino is now leading his own band and has performed in venues and festivals in the USA, Italy, and Dominican Republic, Spain, and Portland. Let's let it rip, Casino. You out there, baby? Good night to everybody. Um, I'm sorry about that, Casino. I'm very sorry, okay. brother. You guys can hear me, right? Yes, yes. We so, can hear you, brother. I just want to say it's an honor for me to be here. I'm going to be quick cuz uh because of the pandemic I had to move back to Italy for now oh. so it's 2:30 2, 2 a.m. Wow. <laughs> I hope I hope my neighbor don't hate me and uh I'm going to do something I never done before because we are in lockdown again we are a little yeah. bit behind with vaccination and stuff so uh I'm going to play with a track I did specifically <laughs> for this occasion so I hope you guys enjoy thank you well, again Well this is extra extra special since uh you know everything that's going on in the pandemic and you're still choosing to come out to do this is extra special to us so believe me we appreciate it Thank you Thank you Absolutely thank you
It's really amazing, dude. You sound great, brother. You sound really amazing. I can't hear you. We still can't thing? hear you. All right, still can't hear you, brother. You. We I just hear you. the cool space sounds. You can keep that going. <laughs> too. I got you. <laughs> All right, I got you now. I say that sounds amazing, dude. That Thank is you very much. <laughs> Yo, if you like to, Tell people, give them your handle, how they can reach you. Uh, you can reach me at my website, which is just, just my name. Whole yes. Small letter. You find a uh, mailing list there or my email or Instagram. It's great. You you look it, look me up. I'm the only Cosmo Bonnie. That's a All right. part of having a, like a weird name. <laughs> yes. <laughs> And thank you again, man. That was amazing. Oh, I thank appreciate you guys. It. I'm I'm thank not good you. at talking, not even a plane. So <laughs> you sound perfect. You. Good job. <laughs> and you have a good sense of humor. <laughs> yes, very much so. Uh, and also, thank you so much for chiming in all the way from Italy in quarantine. Yes. I know it's probably been can't imagine no, how is, it's been over there. So thank wow, you. Uh, it's it's been tough, but this is. This is good for me as well. You know, I'm giving, yes. but I'm, I'm taking a lot. So thank you for all your work. And I hope we can work together again. And I said, oh, absolutely. Again. Absolutely, dude. How could we not? We we need more than ever this kind of people in the world. So thank you. Yes. Mm. Thank you. Well, next up, we have Obaja Ben Yisrael, who I'm um, very honored to introduce. Um, Obaja, I met in 2014, and Leon actually connected us. Um, at the time, Leon and Ob, as we call him, were both locked up at Pendleton. And um, I won't lie, when I looked up Obaja, because uh, you know Leon had said something about, oh, he, he's got kind of a crazy case. I looked it up, and I was like, oh man. <laughs> Who did, who did Leon set me up with here? Um, Obadja was on death row for 19 years, as you'll see, soon see. You'll actually see some footage of him on X row. Um, and as I looked more into the case, I saw a lot of holes in the case. Um, Obadja actually maintains his absolute innocence as well, believe it or not. Not just Leon Benson um, is innocent here, but Obadja... I believe, I told last time I talked to him, I said, I'm at 70-30 in terms of your absolute innocence. Uh, he said, well, I want to get you to 100-0. Um, I have nothing but respect for Obadja. I've met him um, at Pendleton a couple years ago. Uh, we've worked together since 2014 closely. He's a very talented guy. And um, this is also his first sort of entree as a DJC collaborator tonight. So it's also super amazing to be doing that um, in, you know, in conjunction with Leon's platform. And they're both calling me a lot this week and just super excited. Like Leon's like, oh, did OB see this? And OB is like, oh, did Leon see the piece? So, cause now they're in different prisons. So um, it's just really cool that this is happening. And without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and share uh, Obadge's virtual performance as well. Hey, next up, man, we have a speaking offering 
from uh, one of the elders of our community, the brother of Bagya, Ben Yisrael. Give that brother a round of applause. Say you didn't see what you saw I'm tired of the wait for the fall Look at the world around you Y'all know I'm tired Look at the world Look at the world around you Y'all know I'm tired Look at the world Look at the world around you Y'all know I'm tired Look at the world Look at the world Look at the world around you Look at the world Tired Y'all know I'm tired Look at the world I'm tired. I think we could all relate to that, man. Indeed, bro. Yeah. Uh, again, live from Death Row with uh, brother. Explain your name for us. I know normally we uh, ask people what's their name or introduce themselves. But tell us your name and explain us to us what it's all about. I, my name is Obadja Ben Yisrael, and uh, it's a Hebrew Israelite name. And the significance of the name Obadja is uh, is worshiper of Yahweh. Ben means son. And Yisrael means worthy of Yahweh. And uh, the ancestors used to say that um, a name not only was an indicator, but it made a thing what it was, and a change of name and a change of destiny. So when I changed my name, it changed my destiny. So uh, today, we want to try to learn a little more about yourself. Uh, is there anything you want to offer to let, you know, let the people know? Who are you? Where did you come up? You know. Century now for going on 18 years. Um, I grew up in Gary, Indiana, and um, for the last 15 years, it's like my brother Zania, the elders uh, taught me, and I was engaged in struggle. So for the last 15 years, that's what I've been engaged in struggle and educate myself. And um, by doing the Kwanzaa pieces every year, I'm trying to reach out to the young brothers who are coming into the penitentiary now who are basically directionless, and not only are they directly directionless but uh, they seem to lack a certain uh, self-respect a certain dignity and a certain morality about themselves oftentimes uh, they they've attributed those problems to like negative influences in the youth what type of influences did you have coming up basically I, I, I think I had the same negative influences of the streets and the, the the pimp and player culture and you know the this materialism that everybody else came up with but the thing is this after you reach a certain age the responsibility becomes yours to grow up go to all the bombers we apologize we know we hurt you this is dedicated to you Dear mama, as I write this out the corner of my eye Is an issue of tears cause I miss you I'm wishing I could hug you and kiss you But circumstances won't allow that wish to And through bars it's a bit too painful Trying to reminisce and reconcile the time You spoke wisdom while crying Cause I chose a life of crime You saw the signs I was slowly dying Kept trying to warn the line friends Now I bleed from pins Swearing some wounds and never mend Too real to pretend So I'm confessing what's within after years of shame Hoping no trace of guilt remain Did you suffer? In vain, deep in your eyes, I see the strain of fighting the pain. Your son is drowning in this rain, dishonored your name. And mama, I'm the one to blame for playing with life. This truth is cutting like a knife, and I'm paying the price. Some shit ain't worth the sacrifice. I honor your deed. Just 16, I'm conceived, allowed to breathe. You gave a future dream for me, cause my pops would leave. Leaving you forced to marry Cleve in a loveless life. You didn't think about it twice, but after the fights, I heard you talk to Yard Knight and admired your strength. What I could be with just a temper was far from a man. Seeing but didn't overstand it in all you gave. Nothing was saved, preparing my way. You even gave the light of your day by working a slave for minimum wage to cover the rent. And even with the county and stamps, ain't making a dent. You did what you had to do. Telling me shit I never knew, but I love my crew. 
slanging that shit without a clue where that road will lead following greed the demons you feed keep haunting me i'm closing my eyes hearing you plead but nothing could have altered my math or changed my fate got caught up in the fishing for fame and swallowed the bait you told me say that money i made for paying my bail or you can pick a product the failed as hell, mama, my path exposed a lot What used to make me laugh is making this brother cry Cause nothing could justify the drama I put you through This letter's my soul, I dedicated from me to you You told me the game was a lover that would treat a brother coldly Your love would mold me and life would scold me Pay me what it owed me, I wish that you could hold me I'm lonely you told me the game was a lover that would treat a brother coldly Your love would mold me and life would scold me Pay me what it owed me, I wish that you could hold me Cause I'm lonely, remembering vividly The day when 12 found me guilty, I looked in your eyes And I knew that you could feel me, your expression almost killed me Time only half healed me, too many days counting nights living filthy So bless the father built me to assemble when broke Cause it was times I just wanted to surrender the ghost But Pessel was close with Holly 45 in the trail Couldn't abandon both my babies born with daddy in hell I met him in jail, my pillow held an infinite yell The sunless dungeon turned the brother's skin to yellowish pale Searching for strength, I conjure up my mama's one tenth Cause on this level fighting enemies requires some sense And learning defense, distinguishing the truth from the real Making it easy seeing murders after final appeals What happens is real, what's supposed to happen is true Next thing you know you're looking back to find that reap on you The people I knew engaging me through Judas's plot The shadiest spot is on the block slanging them rocks And then I was caught, now it's a green mile of walk Reminiscing of the ghetto face of niggas in chalk The hollowness stalks, echoing the scandalous talk From shady motherfuckers circling like buzzers and hawks To feed on the boss, a title with the infinite cost My infants are crossed, the burden on my back like a cross Consider the loss, fuck a friend his family lost I'm tasting the tear, my daughter marks my time in the year So stay in the ear, cause had I listened I'm not here Playing chess with death for decades, exposing my fear So mama please hear, I'm sorry for an infinite time These intimate Lines, inscriptions of your face in my mind For reasons I rhyme Robbed the nakedness of my rage Inside of this cage Became a man through wisdom and age You told me the game was a lover That would treat a brother coldly Your love would mold me And life would scold me Pay me what it owed me I wish that you could hold me I'm lonely You told me the game was a lover That would treat a brother coldly Your love would mold me And life would scold me Pay me what it owed me, nothing's what it sold me. I'm lonely. To Rose Ass Cannon, my mama, I miss you and I love you and I'm sorry. Stop schooling and proving. Stand on your law, brothers. If your word is truly bond, then start functioning in conjunction with what you proclaim. With that said, brothers, I got a song that I want to do. It's called War. Now, I wrote this song when I was on death row. But it's more relevant today than when I wrote the song. I wrote the song in two different verses. The first verse, has to do with me and how I seen things when I was on death row. The second verse was me projecting how I would see things when I got into general population. So, throughout this song, subliminally, you'll be hearing dream. But I'll be saying and we'll be saying war. Because we think we live in a dream. But we actually in war. And it's important to remember this also. A nightmare is also a dream. Yeah. Hallelujah. You still at war. We still at war. Mentally, spiritually, and physically. Don't sleep on Yahweh's path. If you're looking for some clarity, I hope you brother hearing these lessons of a saying. If you're tired of this chapter, then you got to turn the page. I'm still at war. You. You still at war. We. We still at war. I'm still at war. Last question. How does it feel being able to just be 
present here on April 4th tonight? That's a gift. That, that's something that I've been yearning for and, and, and speaking for for like the last 30 years is a platform just to be heard because to be, for somebody to be screaming as much as I've screamed in the last 30 years, I'm innocent, I'm innocent, I'm innocent. And, and nobody, practically no one hears you. It's frustrating. It's frustrating and you feel constantly as the years go by or the decades go by Roger Ben Yisrael. I have a feeling we're going to have to do a, a virtual concert just for Obadja because there's right. a lot there's a lot more to that story as you can probably imagine. Cool, cool, cool. For, uh, you might have to help me with this one. Kia, Kia, the name. Singer, no, two is no, two is next, and it's who, Kia. Who? Kia, two. my man, two is next. All right, hold on. Let me see this damn screen, Keith. Man, we have a lot of little technical difficulties tonight. Uh, oh, for, you say who was next, Barry? Wow, two, man, some... the one and only, the one and only two. <laughs> All right, that's, 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 I like that's, to that's, make really bad puns with his name. I'm sorry. Well, go ahead, Fred, you, uh, two, uh, yeah. Fred, well, you go ahead. You go ahead and hit him up because uh, I don't even see that on here. All right, I'll just oh, go ahead and kidding. read the intro. Um, even though you know I could freestyle it because we have a little bit of a history, but I'm gonna give you the proper yeah. one. So here All we right. go. Um, two is a rapper out of South Carolina who recently finished serving time at Allendale Correctional Institution. While inside, two contributed to the forthcoming Dodge and Crow release from the masses, the masses, the movement. You can also look forward to his upcoming release, Cool Play. Uh, wow. You didn't tell me about that. I'm very excited for that. Uh, without further ado, oh, this is basically you talking, I see, but I'll just pretend to be you. Um, no. Without further ado, it's your boy, too, from the bottom of what he refers to as that dirty, dirty. Wow. That's that Carolina wow. South. Two wishes to shout out his hood, living that 258 Whoa. life, yes. making major moves, stepping high and tall with love for his day. One, his, oh, I'm sorry, with love for his day ones and everybody else. Um, it is, this is like a real full circle evening. Maxwell, I'm putting you on mute, sorry. Um, this is a real full circle evening because we just had some amazing offerings from OB and LB. And um, also met you, Brother Phil, while you were incarcerated. And um, it's so great that you're out here now and sharing this space with us. So I'm going to shut up now and just let you rip it. Yeah, hey, what's up, everybody, man? My name, too, man. Uh, a brief little description about myself, man. I guess uh, ain't too much to really speak on, but... It's a blessing to be here, man. It's a blessing to be able to have people like Fury BL, you know what I'm saying, to really reach out to people like me, uh, whether female or male, you know what I'm saying, to really give us a hope behind them brick walls, you feel me? Because sometimes, man, you can really just lose hope, even if you got your family writing you mail, talking on the phone, even visiting you. Sometimes, man, you just get in that moment of despair just because of the system that we live in, man, and the mistakes that, that, that you know, that cause us to lose our life behind some major things, you know what I'm saying? But nevertheless, man, I've been blessed to work with that Jim Crow, you know what I'm saying? 
And uh, man, I'm out here making moves, man. Uh, I ain't sitting still, I'm out here going hard, you know. And shout out to Benson and his family, you know, and um and his 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 return home in uh uh Ben Ben Yezru. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to them boys, man. I don't I don't believe in giving up. You know what I'm saying? But just like how it is where they at, man, it's like that down here too. And you know, sorry as I feel about it, I be it with some dudes, man. Jizz off, you know, they grew up with a forced choice to how they got their money, you feel me? And, and respect to them and, and how the system just convict them just off, you know, it looked like, he looked like he fit the description. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, respect to everybody, man. Never give up. Uh, but man, these, how many songs you wanna hear, man? How much time we got? Hey man, let it rip, man. Do what you can do. You know, we got a little time. You know, if we, you know, we might have a little time for a couple of them, not all of them, but I appreciate you being here, bro. And thank you, you know, for keeping everything gangster with us and real, you know, and uh the importance of, you know, uh Die Jim Crow and what it means to y'all in there, okay. bro, that we able to tell your story with your own voices and your own words. We appreciate that too. You know what I'm saying? Most different. Peace, my brother. You know, so you know, do what you do, my brother. Yeah, yeah, man. But nevertheless, man, um, fairy blessed me to work with some good people. You feel me? Beautiful. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. I'm Most sure. Definitely. And um, furry's a making dude, right? Furry's a making dude, man. A dude, man, that started an ideal off of uh, uh someone else's thing. Started an ideal. Started the whole movement, man. Man, you already know. Exactly. So, you know, we blessed with this, man. We blessed. Highly favor. But, um, man, shout out to So So Seren, man, who got name, who, who who was in the booth with me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying, man? We did all this from in the house, like, For separate, sure. you know what I'm saying? But yeah, uh, this first song, man, it's like reality. All right. Uh, I call it reality, man. It's based off just my experience in the streets. You know what I'm saying? Just it might be some people might consider it gutter gutter. Yeah, it's just me. You feel me? For some reason, it something tell me this shit gonna be hot, man. So just let it rip, bro. <laughs> tell me it's gonna be hot. <laughs> just go ahead and let it rip, man. Just give us what you got, baby. Hold on. Connected. You ready? I feel the love, I 
One more of the uh, hot, one of your hottest rip chords, bro. You got one more. You got time for one more from me. You know I want to hear that rain trance, but uh, I'll just let you do what you do. <laughs> yeah, I just had to yeah. say it and be obnoxious. <laughs> All right. If we got time after this one, man, I, I, I'll I let y'all hear because I ain't yet finished it, man. We just got this one more right here because we got some other people. We got this one more. If for some reason, if we can at the very end, it's possible, but no guarantee. All right, my brother? All right, thank you. Let it rip, baby. Hey, before I play this, this is my song called Tang Gang. And man, this song right here. It's really speaking about me being in the streets and uh, really just showing love to my lady friend in my own particular words, you know. But man, I hope y'all love it, man. Well, thanks for sharing it with us, my brother. We appreciate no you sharing that with us. No different. <laughs> Get out the interscope, lay the white like a belly boat. See up the flying gang, I only know. Play me no mind, I'm just an introvert. Riding in my wedding. Oh, 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 oh. No damn game, no damn play. I'm that man. Reminisce, I watch your shit. Remember them days, like in no no. I spread it, can and I make that bitch lay. Oh, 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 oh. Stepping on my damn toes, like a top, I make this bitch go bozo. Fuck you with a kid, then I make it bleed out. Make it hump, run, run, run. Yeah, you fuck you with it, God, I play the car. Make a heart, give a few cars. Like the deli with the teeth, play it, I make them go okay. Team seven I make it hurt. Fucking go berserk, make it bleed, I'm fucking up. Really mean no damn game, like a man is on the undercover. I'm the go go gorilla, ayy, that me on oh my girl. Me no bragging words, he calls me me to swear. I'm a go, super really, I'm always a murder. Yeah, 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 yeah. I make her be, stop and make her back down to her knees. Worthy to her kiss, she love me, she love me, she love me, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. I'm a beast, it don't take it to scope. Lay the white like a belly boat. See up the same day, got home to know. Play me no mic, I'm just a nasty bird. Riding in the bed. Oh, 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 oh. I'm a heavy, I'm ready. We no play no games. I'm a heavy, I'm ready. We no play no games. I'm a heavy, I'm ready. We no play no games. I'm a heavy, I'm ready. We no play no games. I'm a beast, 
Off the year to scope, lay the pipe like who barely broke. She off the chain gang, got hold of no, pay me no mind. I'm just an introvert, riding in my birdies. Shout out to the Dodge Jim Crow record, man. Oh, love and respect, man. All right. And shout out to you, my brother. Appreciate you coming on here. Now, another time, might look forward to you coming back. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but, uh, you know, it's just definitely all that. Like I said, we definitely appreciate you, my brother. All right. You take it easy. If you got some uh, information you'd like to shout out to people to give them the handle. Man, if y'all really want to hit me up, man, I ain't really started on my platform yet, but you can hit me up on Facebook. Uh, my name, my my government name, Philem Craig Jr. If you want to just holler at me, oh, uh, or you can hit me up on IG. Who is too? All right, cool, cool. You know, you just want to, you know, throw it out there, bro. You know, some people, I'm sure, some people may want to. So, and thanks for coming on again. We appreciate it very much, my brother. Thank you for coming on. Good to finally meet you, man. Hey, hey, yo. Look out for more from two. Well, got, got a lot more on the way. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know we in there. We in there. You know All right. We so we're gonna out. we're gonna slide right into the next virtual contribution from yes. Leon Benson, aka yeah. L Bentley 448. Joy, eh? Woo. Hey, hey, we got this piece right here. It's called Let Me Be. Mm. And uh, we want to go there with you brothers, man. You know, we be going through things sometimes. He about to lose it. You hear me? <laughs> he about to lose it. Fine. Take it off. Okay. <laughs> okay, man. Take that off. Man. Get that in. Shalom, man. That's what we on, baby. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Every day we go, we did the hard way. The steps we did it came from the wrong place. I'm tired of the song like the top way. Y'all please help me. I leave my soul between every line, cause it's my blood that flow from the pen. I'm pulling strings like a violin, to we slay all of the biases that got us tuned out of the biases then. Now we falling out of acting violent, our people dying so when we deny it, then when y'all wake up, love when we defying it. Only adversaries won't confide in it, cause we forget our hell and even lying there. The pain of ocean and you crying it, but never lose your hope and never die in it. The world is full of truth, why they hiding it? Like you on a map and not applying it. These contradictions got me paranoid, like I'm Pink Floyd in the black moon. People acting like they hate who want purpose if they go consume? Now we feel the void through the opioid. I feel my soul running on the spoon. But I got conviction, I've been in a prison. Cause the pain I live, you see, is only lifting up on a mission. Cause I got a vision in it all. Came the day that I be painted. When you suck the head, then you will never see it. In the mirror, all you see is sneaking. The walking dead, now we all grieving. But for every struggle, y'all we blessing it. These are my holy messages until I turn your head like the exorcist. Lyrically, I rain hell, cause I literally been through hell With no wind fan in the 
in the cell. Take your life when in the cell. My way was long till I broke the scale. You can have fish, cause I trap well. I'm the rap George Orwell, 1159, 12 on my trail. Make them feel what it's like to live through all the curses Yah's word like a sword decapitated serpent Spiritually activated cause I got divine purpose Don't hate my shine cause something in your life ain't working Be the message that you bring and stop all that purpose I feel like Jonah fresh up out the belly Escape the game like Nas did in the movie Belly But they still trying to abolish me While worshiping my way of life we call that idolatry Imitation is the highest form of flattery Ruach, I'm spirit man but I know battery I'm an Asiatic Israel like the real black Superman They can't kill with kryptonite Y'all way at the will of Billy so I won't be swerving Tabernacle in the club, y'all we having service Tabernacle in the trap, y'all we having service Tabernacle on your Twitter, y'all we having service Y'all way at the will of Billy so I won't be swerving Tabernacle in the court, y'all we having service Tabernacle in the prison, y'all we having service Tabernacle in the streets, y'all we having service Israelites can accurately interpret scriptures Hebrew, high like a legend, like the revolutionary who was resurrected from the cemetery. So when Lane see me, it is very scary. Cause I paint on bed as if I was carry. Yeah, I cross them over easy. Like I carry what I'm doing now is very necessary. To elevate them past elevators to they sky walking. But I'm dark Vader, but I shine brighter than a lifesaver. When, when I drop my shoes, when I lean craters, then my footprints, you would see me later like a joystick. PlayStation, when I'm old school, it's already 26. But I'm futuristic like my brother me. Quantum physics, I make quantum leaps for my eyes of fire, I got golden feet, I'm the son of Yah, if I touch it, mouse, I beat a billion haters with a rhyme your belt, should've heard a man, they all cry for help, I'm the presence, the mind is I'm the first Adam, cause I'm black matter, got the rings of Saturn on my wedding finger, in my presence, they're effervescent, cause I'm oceanic, I play cool with planets, if you mortal then, you ain't comprehended, I'm the puzzle piece, that was always missing to the hyperglyph, now decipher it, now you really know what a cipher is, I'm like the rabbit hole, man, tricks some kids, if you stuck in eyes, I'm the wizard, speak Morse codes, break the Vinci codes, and I shit too big, no come on, event horizon, Event, event, 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 event horizon, event. I'm a Morse American that's dedicated and I'm God body See me levitating, it's that medication If you meditate, find a better way to try to get the greatness And it's beneficial when it benefits I'm Demetrius or Prometheus In the Matrix, Neo mix with Morpheus Metamorphosis, time to eat again Michael Jackson, JB and Prince Got us three back on the beat again uh, Been in here since I was a freaking kid Pray that people let the pieces in uh, A, B, May, C, break D, rate beats Probably why they hate me Used to chase fiends down 8th street Now I'm sleep running Cause I chase dreams Doing more than people think you do Make it electrifying when they peek at you uh, Chain trying to break a Link or two, so I can walk on water, what would Jesus do? Uh, Peer pressure had me living foul With that game over, I threw in the towel Now I'm feeling proud Cause I beat death like a badger, a dufu and Philip Stroud uh, All that hate in there is not allowed no. Mashed potatoes, I was black and proud Then I found that black was death Lower itself, I just smack it down Stand on fire, trying to spin it this way Past six to a perfect seven Stepping right through that black hole To event horizon, that's a perfect heaven Event horizon Event, event, 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 event horizon 
event, event Joyce is old as child, full of Andrew Stroud Learn my lesson from the old school Get my blessing to the new school I'm the leader of the whole school the Originator of the innovator of the arm, leg, leg, arm, head Pop a line in nation, I'm so far from basic I be kissing Jesus on the forehead And minister of all the blessings Yes, indeedy, I can see so freaking far in the future I'm just as a header, never be me As long as they meet you, so be and be on this beat We will never be defeated The best of the best, I'm pistol with the devil The next time I bet not ever seem I'm going up top with that beam Moonwalking when the doors cry Mama, why Papa got a brand new bag Headed out the front door Sped up in a brum, look like he ain't coming back Can't believe that he did it, Lord, it took a little bit of my spirit Like new edition, when Bobby Brown first started buffing Blow off a mirror, A1, you look south, been soldier Moved up the ranks, now I'm on the boss Don't smoke nothing, don't touch nothing Taking no shorts or no loss Sis, ready you're not, whether you're locking or not I'm on fire now like I'm burnt up Glory, glory, hallelujah Can't you see I'm turned up? Event horizon Event, event, event horizon Event, event, event horizon Event, event, event horizon. Event, event, event horizon. Event, event, event horizon. Event, event. All right, there, Fury. Go ahead, Fury. Let it rip, bro. Say what you, you know. Let's. <laughs> I just love that song. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. It's a beautiful song, you know. That's a good one. Yeah, absolutely, Fury. It's a beautiful song, bro. You know? So I don't really know how these songs were recorded, mm -hmm. but somehow they were. They were all recorded in prison in Indiana, yeah. and uh, we got them. So that's all you got to <laughs> know. And. Um, that's that's shout out to Meech, shout out to Meech the God and um Papalotti, two right. awesome rappers who are I think they're both still at Pendleton. Leon is at a different prison now down the road. But all right. appreciate all you guys. Who's bottom up next, line Maxwell? Is, and bottom line is that we was able to get them all on here. However, they recorded whatever they did is on here. A beautiful thing. You know, we was able to hear him and they was able to let the world hear him, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's that's a beautiful thing. An inmate at the Indiana Department of Corrections Correctional Industrial Complex. Speak of the devil. Yeah. All right. Beautiful. You can't cut him off, did you, Fred? Right. And is subject to monitoring and recording. Thank yeah. you for using GTL. Mm -hmm. Hey, so we're uh, almost at the last act. We're about to play yeah. Kia's performance, but uh, yeah, it's going really great. How, how are you guys feeling? I'm asking the people here. Put a thumbs up or write something in the chat box if you got something to say. We got Leon on the line. How you doing, Leon? What's going on, man? Can you guys hear him Yo. all right? Yeah, I can hear him for hey Leon. This is Maxwell. I just like to say, man, I, I like what you're doing. Continue to do what you do, Leon. It's gonna happen for you, baby. I don't know if you heard me. Did you hear me, Leon? Uh, we had I'm gonna just say it so Leon can hear you. So Maxwell Melvin of the Grammy nominated Lifers Group uh, just said to keep doing what you're doing and it's gonna happen. And we got your daughter, Kobe. She wants to say something next. Kobe, go ahead. Pops, I love you. I'm so proud of you for everything that you're doing. You. Um, I'm proud of everyone who you brought along with you. And um, man, just just keep going, Pops. You, hey, you, you in there fearless and you just ignited something in me to continue um, becoming my best self. So I love you. Love you dearly. Absolutely. It's our pleasure and honor. We'll talk soon. All right. So I'm going to jump right into Kia because you guys have been real patient. I'm so glad that you got to uh, hear somewhat distortedly, um, <laughs> but feel the spirit of Leon. Here we go with Kia. Um, Maxwell, why don't you go ahead and introduce her in style? Do you have that bio up there?
Oh, uh, you're on mute, buddy. There you go. Oh, baby. Yeah, yes. Uh, Kia is a singer, songwriter, producer, multi instrumentalist based in New York City and raised in Chicago's South Side. She aims to center the narrative and intellect of the Black women in the late stage capitalist world. Whoa, that's a lot to go with. Kia's debut album. Uh, forever, your girl released on March 27, 2020. The project is primarily self produced, received best new music review from Pitchfork, as well as a placement on several best of 2020 lists. Forever, your girl also earned Kia fan and fellow artists such as Solange, Earl, Sweatshirt, Blood, Orange. Moses and Sonami and Jay Z. Whoa. So, Kia, I want you to come on and bring it to us, girl. I didn't see you. I, I, you know, come on, bring it to us, baby. So, Ted, I think uh, Kia is, is straight virtual. Is that right? Yeah. So, actually, Kia did a special set just for us for tonight. She wasn't mm -hmm. able to be present in the Zoom, but she did this just for us. So, we are forever grateful for yes. forever, forever your girl all right she's still bringing it however she's bringing it she's still bringing it definitely here we go let it rip Keep 
keep on dancing, baby, right there. So, baby, roll up. Thank you, DJC community, for having me. My name is Kia.
All right, all right. All right, Perry. Uh, you know, I like Kia. I like everything. I, Kia, you're not with us right now, but i just like to say thank you very much for providing us. Unfortunately, you couldn't be with us tonight, but you were still here with us, and I'd like to thank you very much, Kia, for sending us that footage to virtual. Uh, we appreciate you very much. All right, Perry, uh, anybody else? Don't tell me I'm on mute. All right, anybody else, you know, like to say something, you know, feel free to say something. This is your chance right now. You get choice, not chance, when you make it to a match in Philly dance. What did he say? <laughs> I say you get choice, not chance, when they make it to a Fury and Maxwell's event. Ah, we, we got to write that one down. <laughs> mm -hmm. Or just remember it. Uh, well, we got I'm, an I'm outro. Gonna... From... <laughs> Thank you for that, bro. We got an outro from Leon, and we're going to ride yeah. out. All right. Thank you all for being with us and thank you. Thank you everybody for being here tonight. Thank you everybody for being here tonight. We will holler next month or before something should come up and develop. Peace. Hello. Hello. Now I'm just going to just tell you. Oh, I can't hear that. Uh, yeah, should we uh, listen to Maxwell's phone call or just right. listen to the next video? <laughs> all right. Um, sorry, guys, from the top.
All right, fair. We about out of here. I just like to say I appreciate everyone for coming on tonight. All those that was here, I appreciate all the artists that came on and gave their time. We appreciate it very much. And we also look forward to some of you coming back. And uh, thank everybody very much for being here tonight. Thank you all. It was an amazing evening. Thank you, Maxwell. Thank you, Ted. BL couldn't oh, be here friend. tonight. She she pulled her back muscle, but she sends major oh, right. love. Um, thank cool. you, Leon. Wish you were here. Thank you, Obadja Ben Yisrael. Wish you were here. We're carrying the torch. Exactly, exactly. That's what this is all about. Never let never, never letting flame go out. Keep it alive and lit. Yo, yo, uh yes, sir, bro. Man. I don't want to be rude because that was a beautiful way to end it. Bro, just let it go. Say what you got to say. Go ahead. It's all right. Go ahead and say Man. what you want to say or do what you want to do. Go ahead. Uh, just out of respect of everybody. If exactly. You, go ahead. If you want to, if you want to hit this song, if you want to hit this song, it's up to y'all. If you go ahead and say you're talking, we might be able to hear it. Give us some of it. Go ahead. Let it rip out. Man, shout out to Leon, man. All right, hit the song out, bro. Go ahead. I'm going to let you hit it out. Go ahead. On the close. Go ahead. We're waiting, bro. Come on. I'm waiting for it. Let it go ahead and close out. Let's hear it. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Let it close out. Let's go close out for it. Shout out to Leon, man, and everybody else in Urban Israel, man. Here's up.